here, my friend. I'm back with another video. We're going to get into Brock Purdy is not the weak link. I'm tired of people saying he's the weak link. He's not the weak link. I'm trying to tell you the weak link is on the defensive side at right corner. Goodness gracious, Ambry Thomas, you are the weak link of the bunch. Um, But, yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, I'm tired of people saying Brock Purdy is this, Brock Purdy is that, this and this, this and that. I swear to God, I feel like Chief Keefe is, but you know, you know, when he was in the beginning of the song of Love Souls, he's talking about some, this ain't this, this ain't that. No damn well, this nigga Brock Purdy be putting in work like that, man. Hear me? But I'm just trying to tell you, bro, if we being honest, Brock Purdy is not the weak link, bro. He is a stronghold, bro. He is the reason why we're here. Proving that in Sam Darnold, you feel me? But we being honest, if we're being honest. Brock Pur well, why is everybody coming for my man's Brock Purdy? Like, what did Brock Purdy do for do to y'all? He didn't do nothing to y'all. I cannot lie. I cannot lie. He did not do shit to y'all to be saying he's the weak link. He, if, if you I see, well, look at that pass. Look at the pass. <laughs> like, there's too many videos on here saying Brock Purdy this, Brock Purdy that. This is Diana the third. Like, this is this is this is terrible. But just to see that there's finally a video that says he's not the weak link is if Brock like even to, for that to even be a topic is disrespectful. It's disrespectful and it's fact. You can point to a number of different players. How about the right side of their offensive line? Keep an eye on right side of offensive line. Yeah, that's cool too. You never had a right tackle. I can't lie. McGlinchey traded, trying to step up with uh, somebody else. Was it Compton or something like that? I forgot his name. But he, he ain't doing too much. We always his elbow. His elbow. What is the end of that sentence though? Because his elbow, his elbow, his elbow was affected because of the right side of the the O line. My gosh, if we're being honest. If we could get a tackle in the draft, a right tackle in the draft, but it's too, it's a problem with that. We don't get no tackles. We're not getting tackles. We're not getting tackles. I don't know what to say. I keep saying Brock Purdy is the weak link. Brock Purdy is this. There's too many videos that's saying that he's like real live. Like, like you have to have Brandon Ayuk real live come out on Instagram and say stop D, stop DSing and then watch the film. Like, bro, it's too many Brock Purdy haters out here, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. He's doing his thing. He's doing his thing. He leads the league in cat. He's leading the league in categories. My man, leave him alone. Leave him alone. It's for it's for a reason. He's leading us to the Super Bowl, and that's a fact. He's gonna get a win. He's gonna get a trophy. That's a fact. Like I'm trying to tell y'all. Like think about it. Think about it. Brock Purdy came onto the scene last year. Trey Lance goes down. Jimmy Garoppolo goes down. It's Brock Purdy's turn. All of a sudden, we had some, oh, Trey Lance or Brock Purdy. Bro, whoever's winning, whoever is winning, my man, it does not matter who's winning. Brock Purdy's winning. He's proven. He is proven and winning. He, li he likes to win. He came from Iowa State. They weren't a winning team, but guess what? He's on a winning team now. He has weapons. Anyway, all the quarterbacks that are that were number one draft picks. That's, this is another thing I'm tired of. People saying, "Oh, it's his weapons. It's his weapons. It's his weapons." All of the number one quarterbacks that's coming out of this damn draft has had scary ass weapons all over them in college. If we're being honest, Joe Burrow had Justin Jefferson. Uh, Justin Jefferson. I'm forgetting the name. I'm, Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, Terrence Marshall. All three of them drive. He had all three on his disposal. Joe Burrow was are we looking at Joe Burrow the same? I mean, I ain't gonna lie, Joe Burrow's I led the team to the Super Bowl, but I'm just saying, Alabama, they got hell of receivers, hell of a line, they got a whole team stacked full of players. Why can't we? Why can't we? That's like yeah, I'm trying to figure out why y'all have a problem such a problem with it. it's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's not our fault that we built our team in the later rounds and not the first round. I'm just saying. I'm just fucking saying. You feel me? I'm just saying. I'm tired of saying. I'm tired of people saying it's the weapons around him. For every quarterback that is good, it's the weapons around him too. I'm trying to tell you, it's all we all benefit each other. I'm tired of this shit, fool. I'm tired of it. Literally, Brock Purdy is the game manager of the group. Everybody has said that multiple times. Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel, George Kittle. Why do you think he's the starter? Sam Darnold. He had a chance to prove that Brock Purdy was not one. He did not prove that. We lost. We lost to the Rams. Who beat the Rams in the playoffs? The Lions. But we had no Brock Purdy. Things would have been different. And if we're being honest, Rams was just giving them bump. Rams are not bumped to me. Come on now. 
Oh, that's a, oh, come on now. Come on now. Like, I'm tired of, I'm tired of the BS, the stories. They're just carrying these weak-ass stories that's saying that, he, that he's real life just not, that they're, they're, they're carrying all these weak-ass stories about us, saying we're this, this, that, and the third. We're weak. Oh, this, oh, Jordan loved this. Oh, my God. Last week, the Packers, they have a chance. The Niners, I don't know what they could do after beating the Cowboys. Blah, blah, blah. Bro, look what we did. Yeah, it was a sloppy win, but guess what? We got the win. You hear me? We got the win. B- great comeback. First comeback drive of the, of the season, I believe. We were down seven, and Brock Purdy had a hell of a drive. You know what I'm saying? That's what we needed. That's what we needed. I'm tired of the disrespect. I'm tired of the disrespect when it comes to Brock Purdy. I had to make a video about this last time. I got to make another one again. It's, it's finally, it's fine. I'm finally saying not the weak link. Like, I'm going to finish the video now. But I'm just saying, he's not the weak link. He's a very strong hole. You see what happened to him last year when he played the Eagles. He had looked much of the season. You know, <laughs> blown. I stopped watching the game. Like, come on now. Who have had spurts where you sit there and you go, what's wrong with these guys? Patrick Mahomes has had moments, and I'm not comparing Patrick Mahomes to Brock Purdy, where we sat there and we looked at Patrick and we're going, is he broken? Mm. People use those phrases, right? Patrick Mahomes is broken. Patrick Mahomes isn't as good as he was anymore. Patrick Mahomes can't be good without Tyreek Hill, etc., etc. Guys go it. through highs and lows. Kind of what it is, though. You know, Baltimore had him confused. Like that, he was seeing things against Baltimore. Mike McDonald's a damn good defensive Ooh. coordinator. Baltimore's going to be in the Super Bowl more than likely. I don't though. These throws got to oh, stop. Oh, yeah, but these oh, are... These oh, are, oh, are yeah, 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 beginning playoff woes. Beginning playoff woes. Beginning playoff woes. Beginning playoff woes. Brock Purdy is one of those guys who operates this offense at a very, very high level. Makes good decisions. The wet weather obviously affected him. That is an issue going forward. And it's going to be continue to be an issue until it's not... Until he corrects that. But as far as his decision-making accuracy, the ability to make all the throws and command of the offense, come on. Yeah, I mean, call, exactly. calling him the weak link, I, I think now. there is some, like, uh, deciding factors there. Like, he's the link that you might want to test, okay. but he hasn't been the weak link. He's up and down through the course. Well, he's been up most of the season, but he's down when they lose some players. So I think arguing that Brock Purdy is on the level as a Josh uh-huh. Allen would be foolish. He's not that guy. But he is a top tier, physically, in the words of right. Sam Newton, game manager, which has showed his ability to. Manager, in, in this that's game, what we need. He had a big a game comeback manager. in the game, which is something he, we thought he had. Let me say this real quick. Go. Oh, okay, so San Francisco is playing Cleveland, right? This is one of the games that all the people who want to bash Brock Purdy point to. Right. Well, how did he look against the Cleveland Browns? They lost that game. Do you remember that he drove them in the position to yeah, win yeah. the game? Yeah, right. They missed the field goal. The kicker missed the field goal? Yeah. yeah. So, what? Contest. Anyone want to tell me about that yeah. contest? Like, does that matter to you? Does it matter to you that he actually I mean, played? I mean, I mean, Does I that matter or no, not? No, but what <laughs> nah, matters, what matters is, are two things, I think, for the purposes of the way people view him. One, that he sort of got plugged into what we perceive to be the best coached offense in the league with unbelievable talent that we saw Jimmy Garoppolo take to a Super Bowl. And two, the fact that he was the last pick in the entire draft. People exactly, don't the last pick of the draft. They refused to let it go. Reason. They it's refused. a Tom, think about it, think about it, think about it, think about it. The only difference between him and Tom Brady even though we can say Tom Brady had Randy, didn't do he didn't win with Randy. He had he had Wes Welker. He's a very he's a very respected receiver. You feel me? He had uh, Julian. He didn't have many name. Uh, the only that's the difference between Brock Purdy and Tom Brady. Now, Tom Brady had a lot of no names that was going in. That was going. That was winning Super Bowls. That's that's what separates Tom Brady from a lot of cats. I cannot lie. Brock. He has a lot of he has a lot of named guys. That's the that's that's the main difference. But if we're being honest here, are we really gonna say in today's in today's game, is anybody winning with no name receivers? No. I cannot name one. I'm trying to figure it out. The Lions, they got Jameson, you know, he's going crazy. The Texans, they got Tank Dell and some other cats going crazy. They got a tight end that's real solid too. So I'm just saying. And they got and come on now. Come on now. Come on now. See, the Chiefs, the Chiefs, my homeboy, he had uh, Kadarius, even though I don't know where he's at, but now they got Rice. You know what I'm saying? Rice, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a late-round gem, too. We low-key miss on him. I can't lie. Any late-round gems, I feel like we should hit him. But what I'm saying is everybody has guys. The Eagles, A.J. Brown was out. Devontae Smith, those are weapons. We can't have weapons. They're saying, oh, Debo, B.A., George, we have this. Bro, everybody has weapons. It's all about how you're using them. It's not my fault he's using them to his disposal. Christian McCaffrey, that's even a plus. Come on now. Bro, 
college, college, college. You have to think college, bro. When I tell you that the call, the, the way to get into that, Caleb Williams. You think he was getting, bro? He had hell of receivers too. Come on now, come on now. They're getting looked at. Brock Purdy had nobody is in college, going six and five. Let my man breathe. Let my man breathe. He has weapons now. You see what he can do with weapons. That's all it is. He has weapons. He has weapons all around him. He's utilizing them to the best of his advantage. That is what you're supposed to do as the quarterback. Now, the difference between him and Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo was folding. I do not like Jimmy Garoppolo. He had the same weapons, and he was not doing the things that Brock Purdy is doing. That is the difference. If we're being honest, Jimmy Garoppolo was an actual system QB. Brock Purdy can, doesn't have to be a system QB. He is not a system QB. He knows the system. Jimmy Garoppolo is a system QB. You've seen that with the Raiders. He is cut. He was cut from the Raiders because of it. Proven. Brock Purdy is proven. You've seen what happened with Jimmy G. I don't want to hear anything about the system QB. I don't want to hear anything about him being the weak link. None of that. Because it's 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 disrespectful. It's disrespectful. It's like I'm making the same video twice, but it keeps coming out. It keeps coming out. Like the fact that this is even a topic of discussion is disrespectful. It's disrespectful. Like well, think about it. When we get to the Super Bowl, right? When we get to the Super Bowl, we're gonna win against the Lions. We're gonna win against the Lions, right? It's gonna be an ongoing conversation about oh Brock Purdy this, he's going against probably somebody. It's gonna be my homeboy most likely. Oh, it's going to be this, this, that, and the third, blah, 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 Brock Purdy, this, 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 that. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. If Debo's out, oh, gosh, what is Brock going to do now? you seen what he did without Debo. He figured it out. I can't lie. He figured it out. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to figure it out. That's how you. That's how, that's how it works. You're supposed to figure it out. When You know how many times when I was in Little League and our star player went out the championship game and we couldn't figure it out? We lost. My man. <laughs> We lost our star player every damn game when it came to the state championship due to weight. We lost because of it. My, my, my. It's, hard to, it's hard to recover when you practice with somebody that's your star player and they go down, and then we have to figure it out. Now, you know how hard that is? You know how hard that is? You know how hard that is? Literally. You know how hard that is? Like, real, that's real hard as shit. When you have your star player miss, and now we got to figure it out on the end, figure it all out on the fly. That's that's not that's not hard. That's not easy. That's not easy to do at all. It's very complicated. It throws off chemistry. It throws off everything. So the fact that he was able to do that, I give him props for that. Why are we not giving him his flowers? Instead, we're just saying, oh, this, that, and the third. You're saying he's still the weak. <laughs> this is not something I want to hear. I want to hear them praising Brock Purdy for what he's been doing because that's all he deserves. That's all he deserves. That's all he deserves. I cannot lie. So let's, let's let's stop the nonsense, man. Let's stop the fucking so that, nonsense. That, but there was a moment in time not that long ago when he was the leading candidate for MVP in the he league. He had the shortest betting on years to MVP in the league. league. This what is a man. thing that frustrates people, right? Yeah, and I know RC said it as well, right? It frustrates me. He has to fault. have this conversation. But I'm they, just they Brock saying. Brock was in the MVP conversation. Should he not have been? He absolutely should have been. He was number. I asked Himbo, hey, Himbo, send me some stats. He's like, just say first in everything. Because that's what Purdy was for the majority of the season. First, you can blame the situation he fell into. You can blame the players think, he is. You can account think, all of that. But, he, but here's the deal. You still have to go out and execute. Right. You still got to go do your part. I know for a long time, he threw the most tight window passes in the NFL with the highest completion rate Thank during you. that. All of those things matter. You still have to do your part because you're surrounded with talent. Doesn't mean the most talented team doesn't you know always makes, win. This, so it's it's a slight at Purdy because he so can't it's, do. it is a it is a slight at Purdy, and I I think that it's unfair in some context. But just looking at the stats, anybody can look at the stats. I think that when we have a hard time is putting Purdy in these conversations is when you watch the games of certain players. They have a, a different impact on the game. I think for sure. Josh Allen comes up, uh, Mahomes obviously, Lamar Jackson. So when you're talking about an MVP solely based on stats, any fool but, but, hold, but, can look but at But hold on, Dom. Go on, but hold on now. Hold on, though. But hold on. See, 
earlier in this manager. show, we're arguing how down good are you at being a great Josh game Allen manager because he doesn't how want it. Win. That's exactly uh, win. But when uh, Brock Purdy really wins, it's like, well, you know what? So yeah, doesn't, yeah. He yeah. doesn't yeah. Kind of give me the same kind of things that these yeah. other guys do. Because he's not the same athlete. He should be when he moves the goalpost on the dude. It's not about feelings. It's not about moving the goalpost. Yes, it is. It is. But I also think it's important to consider like the the situation in this respect. When you're putting together a team, isn't one of the important questions to ask, who is this guy for us? Of right? course it like, is. Not just, I got right. to plug any quarterback in here. I need a certain kind of player here. Right. And for Kyle Shanahan, Brock Purdy yeah. has been that Burrow kind of player. He doesn't need Cincinnati. to throw the ball. If, if, I'm, if I'm Brock Purdy right now, if I'm Brock Purdy and I'm sitting here and watching this show or I'm watching any show, just saying. I'm sitting there going, just saying. one minute they're saying just all they saying. care about right. quarterbacks right. winning, but I win and people go, but, but we're that's not going to be true. It is because you said it's about stats. You're saying you're using stats no. to justify that, it. was stats and wins. That's what I'm okay, saying. Okay, I'm not. If Brock Purdy would have continued the season, they beat the 40, or they beat the, the Ravens, and he goes on to win the Super Bowl, uh, excuse me, goes on to win the MVP, I'm not going to knock him for winning the MVP. Right. But what I am going to say to you he is that it's MVP. different. It's not trying to say that he's not good, saying that his impact on the game is definitely different than somebody like Lamar's. And I'm not, I don't mean that's a different conversation. That's a different conversation. Look, they that's they drafted Trey Lance, traded yeah. up to take Trey Lance with a completely different skill set. And work. for whatever reason, it didn't, it didn't wind up working out. Yeah, work I'm out. still salty about it. If Josh that. Allen was yeah. the quarterback of the 49ers, they it, would never lose. Michael Parsons is there. I will forever have beef with that now that I hold my peace. I will forever, hold, I will forever have beef with that bank on cap. We needed a quarterback, but now that I realize we found a quarterback the next year's draft, not that draft, so... I'll show leeway, but I won't show leeway just off the strength that he didn't even play a game that season we drafted him. So, that is what it is. That's going to do it for this video. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know what y'all think of the comment as far as Brock Purdy. I know y'all, I just, I probably dropped a whole, I, this is probably my second video about Brock Purdy being this. But I can't lie, but I keep, this is what I keep popping, that's what keeps popping up, y'all. So, whatever keeps popping up is what's going to be there. So, anyway, that's all. I'm, I'm gone. You know.